Today is the International Day Against Monoculture Timber Plantations. Across the globe, timber plantations are wreaking havoc on forests and forest-dependent communities. Genetically engineered trees, or GE trees, pose new and unprecedented threats. The U.S. Department of Agriculture recently approved a request by GE tree company Arborgen to plant over a quarter of a million genetically engineered eucalyptus trees across South Carolina, Florida, Georgia, Alabama, Mississippi, Louisiana, and Texas, many of the same regions still recovering from Hurricane Katrina and the Gulf oil spill. The southern U.S. is already ground zero for industrial tree plantations. Over 40 million acres of forest there have been converted to tree plantations, with nearly 6 million acres clear-cut for paper every year. Wood-based bioenergy is driving a huge new demand for timber, meaning an additional 40 million acres of biodiverse forest will be lost. Wildlife habitat, water quality, and our best defense against global climate change will be destroyed. Millions of pounds of toxic chemicals and fertilizers are sprayed on these plantations every year. Between 1990 and 2000, more chemicals were used here than in the rest of the world combined, resulting in rising levels of sickness and cancer. These water-intensive plantations contribute to droughts and wildfires. In 2008, fires in Georgia's pine plantations clouded the city of Atlanta in smoke, and the city nearly ran out of water. GE eucalyptus plantations will worsen these problems and cause dangerous new ones. Global Justice Ecology Project, Dogwood Alliance, Sierra Club, the Center for Biological Diversity, the Center for Food Safety, and the International Center for Technology Assessment have filed a lawsuit to stop Arborgen's GE eucalyptus trees due to these potentially disastrous impacts. Like kudzu, eucalyptus trees are wildly invasive and spread into native ecosystems displacing wildlife. If GE eucalyptus trees are legalized, Arborgen's parent company Rubicon projects they will sell half a billion GE eucalyptus trees every year for planting in the southern U.S. The oil in these eucalyptus trees is extremely flammable. California spends millions each year to eradicate eucalyptus because of the threat of wildfires. In 2009, over 200 people were killed in Australia in a firestorm fueled by eucalyptus. It was the worst fire in the country's history. The U.S. Forest Service is concerned about the potential for GE eucalyptus plantations to dry up groundwater. Water would also be contaminated by the toxic agrochemicals used on the plantations. GE poplar and pine trees are also being developed. Engineered pollen from these trees could travel for hundreds of miles, causing widespread and irreversible contamination of wild forests. Renowned geneticist Dr. David Suzuki explains why GE trees are too dangerous to commercialize. Genetically engineered tree plantations threaten to destroy native forests and to displace local farms and sustainable economies. In any revolutionary area, and biotechnology is a revolutionary area, most of our current ideas are wrong. Then I ask you, what the hell is the rush to apply these ideas that we're getting? We're still at the bare beginning of understanding of what we're doing. The rush to apply these ideas is absolutely dangerous because we don't have a clue what the long-term impact of our manipulations is going to be. Arborgen is a joint project of international paper, Midwest Vaco, and New Zealand-based Rubicon. They have offices in Brazil, New Zealand, Australia, and the U.S., and plan to export their GE eucalyptus trees around the world. The GE eucalyptus started as a hybrid in Brazil, was genetically engineered in New Zealand, then shipped to the U.S. for mass cloning and outdoor testing. For this reason, groups around the world are planning to call for an International Day of Action against GE trees in 2011. It's not too late. GE eucalyptus trees have not yet been commercially approved. And on this day against monoculture timber plantations, we say GE trees must be banned and native forests restored because plantations are not forests.